you know, why did we start Denali? What was the, the rationale behind going after an area um, where let's say pretty much everyone has failed? These are difficult problems that require a real diversity of talents, expertise, ways of thinking, and bringing them all together with the unity of purpose that we have here at Denali makes big things happen. If you want to go after a big problem, after a big thing like making drugs for an early generation, you need a group that is fully dedicated to that purpose. When each individual walks in during the day, um, no matter what their focus or you know, their specific role and responsibility, it is that hope um, that they can accomplish something um, which has never been seen or done before. And for us to align that intellectual horsepower in such a way that we are, are willing to engage in the debate, we are willing to challenge one another and continuously improve in order to have an effective outcome. I think this is a really challenging problem. I love doing science. I love you know, the, the challenge of it. And I love the idea that if we're successful in meeting that challenge, that we have a real opportunity to help people. And I think that's a pretty unique opportunity to have that be your job. And so it's, it's fantastic and exciting to get up every day and go after it. I knew based you know, on some of my previous experience at other places that to really make a key difference in this challenging area, I had to be at a place where that was their main focus, where they were all in on treating this huge unmet need for the aging population. And that was enough that drove me to come to Denali, where I felt like what I was doing could actually make a huge difference, where there's really nothing for these patients. I think it's critically important to, to move fast and to, to be nimble and, and uh, to be really uh, true to uh, the data, to be guided by data. I really enjoy that <coughs> attitude of getting things done and going after it as quick as we can, but um, still being very critical on the way and making sure that we make the right decisions uh, at the right times. At the end of the day, what we want to do is make the best decisions that we can for each of our programs. And the only way that you can do that is in, a, in an environment where there is a tremendous amount of trust, respect and admiration for the people that you work with. So with that, my colleagues inspire me tremendously. Uh, unfortunately, I have to travel a bit for work and, I, and you know, many, many times I'll, I'll be gone and I'll come back here and we'll walk through the doors and we'll see scientists you know, at their computer or in the labs uh, and I feel that spirit of really charting new territory and solving problems. Uh, and for me, that's really inspiring. The magnitude of the unmet medical need is a major driver. The therapeutic opportunities and the promise of the emerging science, I also think, provides that collective spirit that's so important to making progress on these very difficult problems. To work in a group of people that push themselves every single day to be their very, very best, I find very motivating and it also pushes me to do my best.